the minute he walked out on that stage, there was an audible <gasps> I've never seen anything like that, except maybe when I met Marilyn Monroe. She had that crazy aura. And the only other person I can think of that I have been in contact with was Elvis. Right, when you were in a movie with Elvis, but it, it, that same kind of, and what is that? It's, it's just like people are grateful to be in the same room. And my dad knew that, and, and when he was way up there in years, he still said, I've got to get out to the people, see my supporters. Were those duets, uh, um, I mean, were they fun? Were they challenging? Hilarious. Or, yeah. Absolutely yeah. hilarious. There's nobody as funny as my dad was. Nobody. Right. Even in From Here to Eternity, it's a great performance. He's also really funny in it. He's a funny guy. He was a very funny dude. And Dean was too. And, but Jack Benny was the one who could break Daddy up. Is that right? Yeah. That was the, the, the comic that Just walking into a room, him. my dad would just, <laughs> he just loved him. And that's where dad learned his um, onstage behavior, it was from Jack Benny. He said, what, what should I do? What should, and Jack said, you hit him with three great shots. Don't talk, don't do anything esoteric or glamorous or anything, just hit him, bam, bam, bam. He said, that's what I do. I do three jokes in a row and then I can take liberties. So my dad used that with songs. He would pick three songs that kicked off a show and that would be it. And then, and they're then in the tent. he would digress. That's great advice. Young people should remember that. Oh, wow. This is the way you do it. This yes. is my neighbor, Gavin McLeod. Oh, wow. This okay. is Mo Roca. Hi, how are nice you? Nice to see you. Good to see and you. Right. This is your book from Bert Kirk Douglas. Oh, thank this you. This is the thing about your father and uh, Bob Dylan. Oh, we were just talking about that. That's a wonderful review. Yeah. Anyway. Sit down, kid. Well, no, if you Sit do here with Mo, and I will sit behind you. Uh, who did I speak to? This, which one? Did I speak to you? About yes, Mo yes. Mo you talked to Mo. That's right. Here. It's interesting you brought that up, because I have to go to a birthday party for 150 women on Monday. I thought you were going to say 150-year-old. No. <laughs> do you know anybody right now? Me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she wanted me to do a little something for her, you know? Right. And so I started to think about what you were talking about. No, no, no. I said, I want to be happy. So I'm <laughs> going to sing that to her and wind up happy birthday to oh, her. Oh, we'll go you right into I mean? it. You'll glide right into Segway. it. Segway. Yeah. yeah, Segway. That's right. very good. I love that. That's great. For performing, you know, he wouldn't just sort of like throw on anything and kind of go no. on stage. And... No, no, no. And he actually had things made just for the stage. Um, he had shirts made, for example, that were what we now call a bodysuit. They had pants, sh shirt in one piece. Smart, so it doesn't wrinkle. shirt. Mm -hmm. So that it wouldn't come out of the trousers. So, I mean, forgive me, sort of like a onesie kind. Yeah, onesie. We call them bodysuits for girls. Okay. Like Donna Karen invented the bodysuit. Yeah, but that's quite smart because then they Very I should smart. wear that for this interview. But for interviews, no, because then you don't get wrinkled. It's really smart to do that. Well, I don't know about that, but it keeps the shirt from coming out of the pants. Very clever. You didn't get to see wow. him, huh? Uh, no, I didn't get to see him well, live. Well, you have to go to London and see the show that's hap happening at the Palladium. What is it? Is it kind of like the Beatles thing in Vegas? So that they have this. Yeah, it's. Maybe the closest thing you'll get to Frank live.